Hello, welcome to Caesar Snack Sandwich. Today I have a quick video for you on Blueprint. Um, right now they're currently having this uh, pre-sale, so I figured I'd get in and explain to you how this system works. Uh, it's basically a uh, solidly VE33 DEX. However, it has a lot of optimization to save people on transactions and they're therefore saving people on gas. Now this is going to launch on mainnet and that's why they're really focused on trying to reduce the amount of transactions that people have to do in order to save everybody some gas. So socialize it in a kind of automatic compounding system. Now I do have a flowchart for you. So uh, I would suggest uh, I'll swing over to the flowchart and explain things to you there. Now, if you're interested in taking part in this uh, pre-sale, you can use USDC or USDT here. And uh, it's blueprint.fi slash pre-sale. Okay, so let me go over to the flowchart and I explain to you how this system is going to work and how this B, uh, VE Blue works as well. <laughs> Okay, so here we are on the flowchart, and here we have dollar bill and uh, blueprint in the middle here, okay? The solidly decks on mainnet, okay? So just to kind of remind people what things are going on here, okay? So uh, dollar bill wants to provide some liquidity to a concentrated liquidity position. So he's gonna provide, in this case, USDC and ETH to blueprint, and he's going to print himself uh, an NFT, which is a concentrated liquidity position. And of course, you know, he's going to have to set his price ranges and he's to do this. The reason why he's doing this is because he wants to earn some trading fees as well as some rewards in the, the reward token of Blueprint. OK, so this is kind of standard stuff. Uh, <clears throat> moving on uh, now, there is, of course, options for people who don't want to uh, to manage their price ranges and, and set their own concentrated liquidity positions. So he can provide two tokens to Gamma or he can provide one token to Ichi. Now I do have a video on Ichi, you can watch that if you want to understand Ichi, but I don't have a video on Gamma right now. I haven't done all my research on Gamma quite yet, <clears throat> okay? So these guys, these uh, protocols will then take your tokens and they will provide uh, uh, <clears throat> to these concentrated liquidity positions and they will uh, manage this NFT for dollar bill here, okay? Now, uh, uh, all of these uh, concentrated liquidity managers, so ALMs, they're all different. So you kind of have to research each of them individually to kind of better understand which one best suits your needs. OK, <clears throat> now the way this system works is they use a, a protocol called Merkle. And I do have a video on Merkle as well. You can watch that video to get a deeper understanding of it. But basically what Merkle does is it looks at the concentrated liquidity positions and then it manages the rewards for in this case blueprint okay so they, they they work with a lot of other protocols that all have concentrated liquidity positions and they help to distribute the rewards to those people now they use uh these three factors to kind of determine who which which uh positions are eligible for rewards okay so fees earned so as long as this uh position is in range and there is active volatility or trading on that position then it will produce some fees fees will be set aside in another contract so they will check those fees and that generally means that this position has uh, been in range significantly right so they give rewards to those now another possible thing that they have is they can check all, one token versus the total amount of that token in, in other people's pools, like all of the pools combined, or another token, token B versus the total amount. And now this is to kind of uh, ask, if you were asking people to to like put USDC for your token, say that like, say this is some shit token, and uh, you're asking people to put USDC and to hold USDC kind of a floor for your token, then you might want to reward them with like token A in this case. So give them more rewards if they have a substantial amount of token A in their positions, okay? Or the vice versa or whatever it is you, they want. So you kind of have to ask each individual protocol or and, and do a little bit more research on Merkle to see which, uh, which fee things that they're currently using, okay? <clears throat> so now, on Blueprint, they are going to the reward token that Merkle is going to distribute to these concentrated liquidity positions is O Blue. Okay, it's an options blue token. Okay, now there's a few things you can do with this options. You can exercise it for free into a VE position. Now, again, I, I, I'm not going to explain everything about VE positions in here, but basically, uh, if you exercise your 
your your blue into a VE blue, then you have the power to vote on which pairs get emissions. Okay, so which ones get emissions? So in this case, you, you know, you could vote 50-50 on these two pools or however you want to vote on any other pools. This is a manual process, right? <clears throat> So you can freely exercise to this. Now, the reason why you would want to vote is because you earn the bribes and the trading fees. I'll talk a little bit about how the trading fees get over here as well. OK, so when I get to the fee part of the explanation. OK, so you vote on where these emissions, these O blue tokens are going to go, which pools are going to get uh, their share of these uh, O blue tokens. OK. Now, the other possibility thing is you can pay an exercise fee and you can then exercise to liquid blue tokens and then you'll be able to swap those liquid blue tokens for ETH or whatever the liquidity pool happens to be at that time and or you can add liquidity to this and use this position to to farm tokens. Now, there is the possibility that it's not going to be concentrated like liquidity in the sense that it's going to be a, a full range, but it's still uh, it still can be a concentrated liquidity even though it's not really necessarily concentrated. It's just full range, right? Now, moving on. So, Boosted Bill, he's degen, so he just he can anytime he wants, he can buy through this pool and then he can, you know, mint these NFTs just by locking these NFTs, okay? Uh, now, what does this O blue? Now, why is this O blue special other than other options tokens? Okay, so this O blue token is kind of like a an automatic voting system. Okay, so when your rewards when they're given to you, they automatically vote. So they will look at these pools, and they will look at the pools that have the most bribes and the most training fees, and it'll automatically vote on those for you. And then it's going to collect auto compound and collect those bribes and those trading fees. And uh, also, like I'm calling them bribes here, but it's bribes and trading fees. And then it's also going to collect these exercise fees, right? And then it's going to take all those fees and buy blue with them. And then it's going to auto compound those blue into this position. So they, if you think about it, it's you're, you're earning blue, oh, blue tokens and it's automatically voting for you. You don't have to even claim these O blue tokens very immediately. They can kind of sit waiting for you. They just sit there waiting for you, right? <clears throat> and you don't have to exercise. You can just hold these O blue tokens, and they're constantly going to vote every week for you. And no, you don't have to send any transactions. They're going to auto compound socially with all the other O blue tokens. So it's a yield bearing token going up in value uh, based on the amount of blue tokens inside. Okay. Um, moving on. Now, I did talk about a pre-sale, right, uh, at the start of this video, uh, the, this uh, blueprint having a pre-sale. So here's Grandma. Grandma wants to do the pre-sale. She's, she's going to buy some BVE Blue. Now, that it's very similar to the OBV, uh, o, o Blue in the sense that it does all of this for you automatically. However, the, the major difference is that you can only exercise this to, to a, VE, a VE position. You cannot exercise these uh, tokens to liquid, okay? Now she can, again, like I said, use USDC or USDT to, uh, to buy these if she so pleases, okay? Now the last thing I'm going to talk about are these trading fees and this exercise fee. So the trading fees are uh, on this pool. They, are, they, they produce trading fees because people swap through it, right, or ARBIT. And those trading fees are split thus, okay? So 13.4% is just kind of set aside for whoever holds this NFT. So in this case, it'll be uh, Ichi or Gamma. They will they will get to this 13.4%. And then you can say, that's why you kind of have to look at these two protocols and ask them, kind of go here and find out what are they doing with that 13.4%, okay? Um, and then the, some of the trading fees, 8.66% go to the blue uh, Blueprint Treasury. And then the rest of the trading fees, 77.94% go uh, to the to, to bribe the specific pool. So pool specific bribes. So in this case, USDC ETH, it'll take a 77 or let's just call it 78% of the trading fees will go to bribing whoever votes on this ETH USDC pair. Okay, so that pretty much covers it. That's how uh, basically how this system is going to work. Now, there are a few little things like this exercise fee, you know, the, the, how big is this exercise fee? It can be changed between like, you know, one and 99% or so. So you kind of have to find out when when this thing is live, what that exercise fee will be and how much it will cost uh, you to to uh, do that. So this exercise fee, when you exercise, you pay 
pay in the the ETH token, and that ETH is given to the to the O Blue people and, and then use used to auto compound. Okay, so that's it for today. So I hope this has been useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.